Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Tink Charts channel. Today, we are going to unleash the wild a Partis Linux review. So, what we're going to do is do a nice little review of the Partis Linux system. We're going to install it and we're going to run it, test it out, see what it looks like, and all this good stuff, and see how we could benefit from it. So, stay tuned and don't miss a beat. All right, so basically the whole idea behind the channel is if I have a project, technical project to do, I share it here. The idea in the video itself could be the project. Please check your subscriptions. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, share the video and like the video. It really helps the algorithm. Also, too, you can follow us on X, is known as Twitter. That's our handle. That's where we are. That's what's going on. I'll post new videos, so links to new videos so you can catch them here. And also, too, your support is greatly appreciated. We really appreciate your support. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Without you guys, we don't really have much to go on. So stay tuned. There's our link tree. Go there. It's in the description. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about this operating system. Um, now, the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey, the National Academic Network, and from Nation Center has announced the release of Partis 23, a major update to Debian's based Linux distribution with a choice of XFCE and genome desktops. For this demonstration, I use XFC. Um, this revolutionary operating system will transfer your computing experience like never before with the sleek design and user-friendly interface partis linux offers a seamless transition from other operating systems making it accessible for both novices and tech savvy users say goodbye to system crashes and sluggish performance partis linux delivers lightning fast speed and unparalleled stability and i was impressed with what i did you know with it you know I have a little bit more information. One of the standout features of Partis Linux is its unmatched security features built with robust encryption protocols and constant vulnerability monitoring. This operating system ensures utmost protection of your data. Whether you're browsing the web or handling confidential documents, rest assured that your information remains secure from potential threats. But that's not all. Partis Linux also boasts an extensive range of pre-installed software applications catering to all your needs right out of the box. From productivity tools like office suites to media players for entertainment purposes, everything you require is conveniently available at your fingertips with regular updates and an active community support network. Partis Linux guarantees a cutting edge experience that evolves with your changing requirements. So we'll take a look at the agenda and see what we have before us. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the live disk and we're going to install Partis and then we're going to explore the, uh, the operating system a little bit and see what it has. Uh, I'll be using VMware as the hypervisor for this operation and um, we're going to go ahead and run the live disk. Okay. So when we run the live disk, uh, first of all, I'm just going to do the general setup. I'm just going to point it to the ISO. This time, I actually caught my error because I didn't want to run the ISO through my network. Instead, um, I, I started to, you know, proceed with everything as is. But then, like, I caught my error soon. And before I clicked finish, I hit the back button a little bit. I had to go back. I had to make sure because I actually uh, created another place on the same drive for the ISOs so that there's no network uh, transmission, you know, so that the install process works a little bit faster. So that everything's working off of the same NVMe drive. So you click finish, run VMware, and then um, you got to select the correct language. Luckily, we had English available. And then we selected Partis Live. 
you also had the option to install it straight from that interface as well. So this is what it looks like. And um, I think it's pretty cool. You know, a nice little graphic to start it off with. And um, here we're loading into this uh, live environment. Okay, so it takes a little second to load, but once it gets loaded, you're in, like Steven, I guess, you know. All right, so it establishes a connection with a wired connection, and it loads that thing. And we have the icon above me to install this operating system. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a look at some of the desktop settings. And you can see even in the live disk, you have quite a few options for choosing a theme, a desktop background, and um, also, I just wanted to look around at what some of these icons are on the uh, lower right hand side of the screen. I'm going to check my audio situation. I did get an audio message, but it really wasn't that much of a bother. So I just kind of went forward, you know, maybe checked what options I did have. And then I just kind of, you know, went just to see what the other tabs had and see what the, you know, see what I could do. And um, there wasn't really much I could do. The audio really wasn't much of my concern. But um, so what I decided to do was just, you know, check a few other things. And that's where you would interface with your network if you had network problems or something to that sort. And then I wanted to see if I could go into the settings and then you have desktop settings and you have display settings. So I went into the display settings to see if I could find the appropriate resolution for my setup. And the 16.9 aspect ratio I applied. And next, what we're gonna do is get ready to install Pardus. So what we did was just expanded the desktop. As you can see, it's taken up the whole screen now. It's beautiful. I like the layout. I like the operating systems, you know, design. We're using the XFCE environment. So what I'm doing now is going through the installer, carefully selecting that I have the correct keyboard layout for my system. So it's going to be US English. I'll click next and then we want to select my time zone and at the time it was that time it was 608 to make sure that we're in america you have other selections you um and then i want to select new york which is kind of like down a little ways so i took a little took my time and just kind of went that way so we got new york and then it you know, it asks you about your hard drive. We have a 20 gigabyte. Um, and I just kind of, you know, use what the defaults. Nothing fancy, nothing advanced, nothing, just, you know, no, no features. Um, so then you go and you create your user account, which, you know, enter like your password so that you could get in. It tells, it's like different. I use the same password to do these. And some tell me that my password's weak. Like in this case, you must have exclusive characters. Are you sure? And if I was doing this application somewhere else or this operating system somewhere else where other people were involved, like in a, say an environment, a corporate environment, you know, maybe I would use a different, you know, password, but that's, that's probably, you know, something. You know. Now, the installation process is happening now. Um, it's pretty efficient. And with the way that I ran it, I made it as efficient as possible so that I don't really have to speed things up. Uh, so right now it's just gonna, you know, it's doing all this, you know, copying. So this, 
you know, you don't want to turn off your system during this part of the installation process. And, uh, you know, it's just, um, yeah, and this is a 32 bit environment. Uh, no, no, this is a 64 bit environment, I should say, on my system. I don't know if this would run in a 32, but you could try. Also, to stay tuned to the channel and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, I do have some projects coming up, um, which I, I don't really, you don't have all materialized right away, but, but they're up and coming. Um, and it goes beyond, you know, these reviews of operating systems. These are actual, you know, we're going to do this, that, and the other, and accomplish a mission, you know. But right now, we're just going to install this into our um, virtual environment. And, um, you know, you just have to kind of look at, uh, like the uh, slides, it shows you all kinds of cool stuff. So this is one of the pretty cool distros that you can find. I find all my distros at DistroWatch. I don't know if you guys are familiar with DistroWatch, but that's kind of like, you know, the go-to place for Linux distro news and, uh, you know, new uh, releases. So as the operating system is being installed, it shows you in the screens, like all the different options that you have. We're currently almost complete. I did not speed this up. This is actually kind of real time what's happening here. And uh, now it's kind of finalizing the installation process. And um, it's clearing the package manager, which is you know, interesting. Um, so, you know, you just be patient, you please wait and you know, this will be like a few minutes. It takes a couple minutes to do this. I think the whole install time took about eight minutes, if that, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is not bad. Uh, and with the way that I set it up, I give a more accurate representation uh, rather than running an ISO through my network like I have been in previous videos. Um, so it's generating the INTFS and all that good stuff, all the little nitty gritty details. Um, get excited. We're going to take a look at this, do a little test run on it, you know. Um, so it's preparing the bootloader, installing the bootloader, configuring the bootloader, installation has been finished. And this is where you would restart and reboot to run the operating system off the hard drive. So we're going to reboot and run. And this is where, you know, you just click yes. And it's going to reboot. I just let it go. And part is GNU Linux. It will load and all of that automatically in a few seconds. All right. And it gives us the screen. Pretty cool. So it just, you know, it takes a minute or so to load, not even that. And uh, then you would log in with your credentials. I did the wrong thing, so I had to go back and hit it again. And then it loads you into the desktop environment. X F C E. It says that you're now connected. Welcome to Partis Greeter. Okay. So once again, you know, I have to set the uh you know you could you have all these wonderful wallpapers to select from. Uh, I tend to keep my wallpapers simple, but look at all these cool designs, you know. And um I mean, that one's really nice there. And, uh, you know, you click next. I always go for the dark theme. For me, you could do the light theme. 
it's just easier on my eyes then you got all these different display settings you can zoom it in panel size desktop size all this stuff then you got keyboard settings for cuts and all that stuff so I'll close that and then we'll take a look at what we could do to get our settings right as far as our display so you'll go to display and you would select the correct resolution which is for 1080p which is down the list a little bit and uh, you click apply keep the configuration update your operating system close and then we're just going to you know take a look around and see what we have to play with in this operating system uh it's pretty cool i mean would you make it a daily driver if so you know comment below you know that would um that would help you know let's see we'll take a look at the audio mixer see what our audio options are i didn't see any audio issues this go around so i'm not going to even indulge with that too much what I'm going to do is just take a look around. What we have is the favorites. So who selected the favorites? The people that designed the operating system. So Mozilla Firefox is the browser that's installed. Browser. And then, uh, you know, you have like the uh, all applications. And you have like everything for accessibility application finder all that and all applications there's a lot of stuff listed in all applications uh yeah everything from clipboard manager dictionaries you know i mean it's just and then you got your lever office there's everything's just kind of hog launched into that area so that's you know really cool um but you got accessories so take a quick look at accessories those are those and then you got uh graphics you got your internet your firefox then you got your uh, multimedia area then you got your office area and you got part of specific stuff and then you have settings and system so on and so forth so we'll take a look at it about it you know what i mean just see what we have and uh you know it's not a bad operating system you know i mean, i give it a clean bill of health you know what i mean i think it's something that I, I, i'd be curious to mess around with and install things on and try you know even on light systems and uh you know light system requirements and that sort of thing so we'll take a look at the task manager that they have pretty nice so yeah so make sure that you are subscribed the whole idea behind the challenge if i have a technical project to do i share it here the idea in the video itself could be the project check your subscriptions check the notification bell be notified of new videos when they come up share the video like the video on the way in that really helps the algorithm you can also follow us on x is known as twitter that is our handle that is our twitter page we tinker you learn that's what we do we're all about the tech we're going to get deep in the tech so make sure you stay tuned and also your support is greatly appreciated thank you very much you can visit the link tree for tech tinktronics in the description area of the video once again thanks for watching have a great day